He's waving to us. He's waving to us. He said, I, am, I have been out of the hedge and feeding good to all the people in my country and the world. My greetings. My country, please have faith in me and I will, my team will finish this mission. He's making a dialogue with the Guan control. He's uh, hooking something to the to the spacecraft so that he can has a hold onto the body of the outer body of the spacecraft. But it is crawling actually. That's like a handmade rocket to use the uh, every steps. With the help of the handlebars installed on the outer body of the spacecraft, he is now moving. This is coming from the Well, this shot model. is actually taken from the camera on the propelling module. Yes. That's uh, around 40 minutes. And now we see the live feed again. The flag of the People's Republic of China, the flag of the People's Republic of China is unfurled by one astronaut There's with the background of the Earth. We can see the flag. He's waving the flag, the flag of the People's Republic of China, for the first time being unfurled by an astronaut in outer space. The other astronaut is right there in the hatch. Yeah. We can see the other astronaut, Liu, Liu Boming, is also at the hatch. So he is basically conducting the EVA too. The 10 minutes have passed since the EVA began. Now we can see two astronauts facing each other. Yeah, and and uh, Jai Zhigang just passed the national flag, a small flag, to Liu Boming. And also, also I believe, uh, some experimental materials. they need to have good cooperation and faith in each other to have this mission finished. Many spacewalks last five, six, seven, uh, up to nine hours. Mm. And this means that the astronauts, while they are working, are constantly going through the cycle of darkness yeah, and light. Around the Earth. And it must be very disconcerting to have the lights turn off every, yeah, every 40 everyone, minutes and 45 yes, minutes. Yes, exactly. You see sunrise and sunset in such a quick way. Mm -hmm. I presume it must be a very different and uh, enlightening experience for anyone to have, to have been in outer space. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. The environment around you is just pitch black, is as black as it can get. On the day side of Earth, Earth is so bright that your eyes iris down and you can't see the stars. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, on the night side of Earth, it's you, just you, black. It, 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 uh, no, you, you're actually, you feel like you're floating among the stars. Mm. They're all around you, they're not twinkling at all. I think uh, Jai Zhigang has retrieved the material, the lubricant material that is uh, placed on the outer body of the spacecraft. He's supposed to retrieve the materials and give it back to Liu Boming, who still stayed inside the orbital module. 
The solid lubricant is attached on the bulkhead prior to blast off. So it has been exposed to space conditions for more than 40 hours. And this experiment is designed to test what will happen to that lubricant material after exposure in the outer space. Now, many people are not familiar with the idea of a solid lubricant, but graphite is, uh, is one, uh, molybdenum sulfide is another material that has a, a very weak crystal structure so that it's slippery mm -hmm. and it's, it doesn't evaporate, so it makes a very good lubricant in space. So it's a very important material for uh, space work. For Yes, so that mechanisms in space don't, don't freeze up and mm. become immobile. And now the ground control is uh, checking the status of the spaceship. This is simply unbelievable. I believe it and I'm jealous. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. To have this experience, this must be exhilarating. But the condition of the spaceship is quite good, according to the checkup. That's why we see Chinese more. President Hu Jintao sitting inside the Aerospace Command Center watching the whole process. The first Chinese astronaut performing EVA. Actually, this project, this project like this, actually can inspire many youth to join in science and math. As I just uh, uh, watched uh, the presidential debate between Obama and, and, uh, and McCain, uh, this presidential debate, that Obama said that China is catching up because China has done its space exploration and spacewalk. The United States should educate, should inspire its children to be, to be joining in math and science education more. This is a real problem in the United States right now. Many young people are reluctant to work hard enough to become scientists or engineers. Because science is hard. Because science is hard and because getting a job in a service industry is easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of brain power is being wasted because of that and because of the fixation simply on making money rather than contributing to the, the betterment of mankind. Mm -hmm. I'm Hu Jintao, comrade Zhai Zhigang, Liu Boming, and Jing Haipeng. The thing that I want to know the most is how are you feeling right now? I also want to ask you about your work conditions. We all feel very good, and all the space experiments have been going smoothly according to schedule. The spacewalk was carried out successfully. Please have faith in us. After you got out of the airlock module, how did you feel? The spacewalk felt really good and the spacesuits was very comfortable. I was very proud of our country.